who's here? It's at Fruit Preserve. <laughs> What's your um YouTube username? I don't Fruit Is Preserve. It? I think <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna read today. So I'm gonna start Six of Girls tonight, and I don't know what jam. What did you bring? Don't laugh, okay? What did you but bring? But you know how we're all upset. <laughs> I haven't read Vicious. I got it yesterday. Are you I gonna... was like, okay. Are you, you know gonna what? read the 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 sequel? Yes. I'm so I've excited. Committed. It's her fault. Yeah, actually, like one of my reading goals this year is to read all of your shop's books. I'm so stressed <laughs> out. There. Like God, I don't know what to do. Have fun. I've only very recently gotten over the story. Not even really. Just you know, like enough to function, and. I'm reading her other book, so it's exciting. Godspeed. Because I'm reading another video e show book. I don't know why I did this to myself. It's really good. Hundred something pages. Um, I've already met. I think I've met everyone in the crew now of Six of Crows. Uh, it's still too early to tell who my favorite is, but I'm kind of liking Jasper. And there's okay. So reading Six of Crows, like as early as now, I can say that somehow Lee Bardugo's writing is a lot a lot better this time around. Like. Compared to the Shadow and Bone trilogy, her writing now, I don't know, it's, it, it, it reads a lot better. Like, the Shadow and Bone trilogy feels a lot more juvenile compared to uh, this book right now. So, I mean, wow, glow up, right? And somehow, I don't know why, but it's giving me uh, a, a Darker Shade of Magic vibes, like, the way it reads, which is great, because... The Shades of Magic trilogy has become one of my faves, so I have some high hopes for this duology, especially since it made Sid Cindy cry, like the Cricket Kingdom made her cry. So, okay, feelings, woohoo! <laughs> Reading update! I haven't been reading because who knows, I guess I've just been lazy, yeah? Also, well, I spent a lot of yesterday editing uh, the reading vlog for Shadow and Bone and it's it's already up, so I guess I don't have an excuse to not read Six of Crows. I mean, I've been reading, but like, literally I only read like two chapters yesterday because... I don't know, I guess I just wasn't in the mood. I'm gonna watch Into the Spider-Verse tonight at last because they finally brought it back since um, Metro Manila Film Festival is done now. So we're back to regular programming for cinemas. Anyway, I'm gonna be watching tonight so I'll be home late but I mean, I'm so excited. I'm about 140 something pages in Six of Crows. So far, I've, I've been enjoying it. Like, it really reads differently from the Shadow and Bone trilogy, which means 
B. Bardugo really improved on her writing, so that's great for her. I mean, you know how a lot of people felt about the Shadow and Bone trilogy. Well, technically, a lot of people liked it, but then on the other side of the spectrum, a lot of people were like, uh, I'm so and so. Like, I still enjoyed it, not gonna lie. I enjoyed the trilogy. So far, Six of Crows has been really enjoyable, and the writing style is so much better. I know he's known as Heartless, but I was not prepared for this. <laughs> Cat just cat. Cat's just straight up removed an eyeball. Dude. I did oh poor Wyla. <laughs> Kaz yanked out an eyeball, not his eyeball. And like Wylan is just barfing. <laughs> My poor son. I just got back from Spider First. It was so good. <laughs> I love the art and the animation and the music and the story and Miles is my new son. <laughs> and the post credit scene. Oh my god, y'all, y'all should stay for the post credit scene. I cannot believe they went there. They did the thing. <laughs> Watching into the Spider Verse again because of course I saw it again. I mean, why wouldn't I, right? Anyway, it's Sunday already. It's midnight of Sunday, and reading recap. I did not read anything yesterday because, well, in the morning I had to shoot, and then I got home sometime in the afternoon, and then I was just tired and lazy, <laughs> and then I got ready to go out to see the movie again, and. I don't know man, it's already mid-January, it's almost mid-January and I have not finished reading any book at all. In the coming week, I feel like I'm gonna be busy with a lot of work, but I'm gonna try and finish Six of Crows and then get the Crooked Kingdom. I keep saying that, I know, but like, I don't know, I don't know why it's taking me so long. It's not like the book is bad or anything, like it's better than like the Shadow and Bone trilogy, but I don't know man. Give me strength. <laughs> I guess that means I have a deadline now. What do you mean? What happens if I move closer? What do you mean? What you want is an edge. What do you mean? Bitch, what the hell? What do you mean, guys? So, how do we feel about Kaz and Inej? Because I low-key ship it, but also, also it almost feels like it came out of nowhere. Like, at first Kaz is this very ruthless character and now suddenly we're all like, I want Inej, what happens if I move closer? I just need an excuse to talk to you. Like, it's a very schoolboy crush. So, I don't know, it'll probably develop more later on, so we'll see, but... Right now, I, I low-key ship it. up and touched his cheek <gasps> she let her hand cup his cheek <gasps> is it happening oh my god is Kaz and Inej gonna happen Ooh. oh never mind it didn't happen but it's there as much as I feel like there's a lack of romance building between Kaz and Inej like like, a romantic relationship wasn't really developed between them. Like, a history of it. I still ship it. <laughs> I ship it so hard! Make it happen! So, I only have this much left of Six of Crows. And 
I can definitely finish this tonight. Actually, I could have finished this last night. I just fell asleep. So my plan for tonight is to not sleep until I finish this. So wish me luck. got some backstory between Inej and Kaz and like when Kaz's attraction to Inej starts and it's so pure oh my boy I love them I love everyone I love them so much I just I just want them to be okay and happy oh, uh, protect everyone I finished it I finally finished six of crows hooray the last like hundred or so pages were really good uh, like it was so fast-paced and even as the book was ending so many things were still being unveiled and i was like what's going on what 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 what's happening and then and then oh, the the last part with pekka rollins i was like he's alive what's kaz trying to do and oh it was really good and i mean I tabbed it quite a lot. So I'm done. I'm finally, yay! I can finally move on to Crooked Kingdom. But I'm also a bit scared because will everyone survive? I kind of hope they will, but also I don't think that's very realistic. So here we go. Hello! It's the 19th, uh, Saturday, and I'm only just about to start Crooked Kingdom. <laughs> It's a little before 4 p.m. and the Sabi! No! Sabi! It's a little before 4 p.m. and the Krishna Longathon live show is at 6 a.m. tomorrow, um, my time. So I have about. How to math? Um, Sabi, no! I have about a little over 12 hours to finish Crooked Kingdom and then edit this vlog and get it up like before the live show not that i actually have to i just like having ow i just like having self-imposed deadlines so yun i think uh crooked kingdom is a little over 500 pages and i feel like i can finish this naman in like 12 hours so good luck to me sabi stop For Inej, I really thought Van Eck was gonna have her legs broken. And then while I was reading, I was like, no, please don't, don't do this. Oh my god. I'm kind of worried because Inej is beginning to doubt how much Kaz actually values her. Although that's also Kaz's fault because he wasn't very transparent about his feelings for her. And honestly, I still wish we had a bit more development on their romance. <sighs> It is almost 9 o'clock and I've only read this much. I'm at page 186 and let me just say, <sighs> Inej and Kaz. Ah, it's Zoya! She's here! I'm so emo for Wylan. <laughs> The part with his mom, like where he's reunited with his mom and he finds out that she's alive. I could see it coming from the build-up, but 
my baby. Good morning. Okay, so what happened was I <laughs> I fell asleep at like around 11:30 and then I think I was about like halfway through the book before I fell asleep. So I didn't get to finish Crooked Kingdom before the live show. And then when the live show came around, I was late at for like 30 minutes like I woke up at 6 30 and then I was all oh no I'm half an hour late to the live show so I got on YouTube and then and so the live show was ongoing I don't even remember what part of the live show it was when I got there so I stayed for maybe 45 minutes through the live show I didn't finish it so the live show promised non-spoilery discussions on Six of Crows which really was the case like Kat and Cindy and Jordan didn't really touch on uh, spoilers for Six of Crows the thing is the comments ah oh. okay so the comments were saying Nina is gonna be in King of Scars I didn't know that at all like the synopsis for King of Scars doesn't even mention Nina so I had no idea she was gonna be there so knowing that Nina's gonna be in King of Scars means that she survives Crooked Kingdom and I didn't know that uh, I, like as early as now I, I don't I mean gets like uh, revealing who survives is also a spoiler and I don't know if I was supposed to know that Nina was gonna be in King of Scars because there's no mention of it naman in the synopsis right so I don't know maybe that's on me but then we get to Matthias. Oh my God! So there. Uh, so Cindy was like, "Oh, fuck, Mary kill Matthias, Jasper, or Kaz." And then like she mentioned something about, uh, "I just want Matthias to live a long and happy life." And then the comments, <laughs> the comments, they were like, "Oh, don't kill Matthias." Like it was very suggestive that like what he dies, and I had no idea. Like. Y'all better hope I'm wrong about this hunch, but from the looks of it, based on what the comments said, the comments were saying that Nina's gonna be in King of Scars, and it's gonna be set after, like, how she copes with what happens in uh, the end of Crooked Kingdom. So I'm like, what do you mean how she copes? And then how people reacted to Matthias. They were saying, oh, I just want Matthias to live. Like, it was those, um, the sarcastic mocking, uh, sticky caps, na Oh, don't kill Matthias. You, you get it. So I was like, based on those comments. I mean, you know what it's suggesting. So I have a feeling that Matthias dies at the end of Crooked Kingdom and it's gonna wreck Nina. And I'm just... I kind of wish... I didn't wake up at 6.30 in the morning to be spoiled for Crooked Kingdom. I, like... If that were the case, I just would have gone back to sleep. But I don't know, man. But like that was my first live show, and I don't know how they work. Like, am I not supposed to be in the comments? Was I so like? Is it my fault I got spoiled because I didn't finish Crooked Kingdom before the live show and I was in the comments? What is? Am I supposed to be anticipating Matthias's death now? It sucks, man. I just hope my interpretation is wrong but it it kind of doesn't feel like it's wrong i don't know maybe it was my fault that i i, ha I hadn't finished crooked kingdom before the live show because that was my plan diba? my plan was to finish crooked kingdom before the live show which i wasn't able to do but still i don't know i don't know i don't know we'll see at the end of the book like will i still be wrecked knowing that or feeling like Matthias is gonna die, or... You tell me. I'm glad that we're getting more backstory on Wyland this time, because one of the things that I wish Six of Crows had was more backstory and history on Wyland, because we got some of it for... for Matthias, for Jesper... No, well, there was a bit of Jesper, but not much. So I feel like Crooked Kingdom is exploring Jesper and Wyland more, which is great. We saw backstories for all the other characters, so I'm glad we're getting more on Wyland. And I, I'm wondering if he's ever gonna get his face back, but 
Will he? I don't know. I don't care. He's still my son. Breathing for you. about I'm actually like a little after the midpoint of the book I know what that's what I said last time I said I was like halfway through the book but this time I'm really a little over halfway so I didn't really no I didn't read at all yesterday but the other day I got to the point of the book where Nina ooh, where Nina and Matthias finally kiss and I was just like Yes, thank the Lord. I've been waiting for this all my life and it finally happened. So that also means I, I met Ge Genya. According to the audiobook, it's Genya though. I met Genya again. I was just so happy. Like, oh, my baby girl, she's here. What I plan to do is try and finish the book tonight. I know that's, I know that's what I said last week, but... I really want to try and finish it talaga tonight. It's the new year and I want to read more but despite the fact that it's the new year, I'm still so shit at this whole reading thing. Like I read so slowly, I keep stopping, that's the thing. I just keep on stopping and I'm not reading like in big chunks. Crooked Kingdom is only my second book for January and we're already in the pretty much the last week of the month and gotta do better. Finally kissed! Oh my god! All oh, that sexual tension! Finally! Oh my god! I'm so ah! <sighs> you done me good. I was fooled. Oh my god! So that wasn't actually Wyla. That was the real Kue. <sighs> Hello! It's the last day of January and I haven't been reading. Why? Because Kingdom Hearts 3 came out this week! Oh my god! So that's been my entire life this week. I haven't been reading. I still haven't finished Crooked Kingdom. Even if I only have like... I only have this much left and I still haven't finished it. Because I've been playing Kingdom Hearts 3 every time, every day. Like every time I get home, I just play. You all know that Kingdom Hearts is my number one fandom. Like if I had to live with just one fandom for the rest of my life it would be kingdom hearts like it's my ride or die yo and i haven't read <laughs> i really have to finish like i plan on finishing it tonight february is tomorrow and i better i haven't i haven't finished i only mm, i only finished one book and it was uh six of crows so like i need to at least finish this as well where was i in crooked kingdom um while and just were finally kissed like for real this time i wasn't blue balled thank god also uh at the point where i'm in in the book i feel like um things are slowly like they're coming together but i also feel like shit's about to hit the fan <laughs> good luck Okay, so I finished it, and as I expected, Matthias died. And I mean, I already knew that because I was spoiled from the um the Grisha Longathon live show. So I don't know. I don't know how to feel. Would I have been sad had I not been spoiled about Matthias? I don't know. Maybe. I feel like I enjoyed Six of Crows more than Crooked Kingdom. I don't know why. Overall, the series for me was a four stars. Like. 
I liked it. It was a lot better than the uh, Shadow and Bone trilogy. There is a magic system, but it's very it's very subtle. Libor Yugo did a, did a good job on the whole heist thing and how how everything came together. And I really liked how, despite the fact that we follow several uh, perspectives, everything still felt cohesive. But at the same time, the characters they they had their own voices. Like it was very distinct. Like. I wasn't confused whenever we would jump from one character to another. I went into the duology not knowing what to expect actually, but it was really it was good, yeah. But I don't know how to feel about the end. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll have to let it simmer first. I kind of wish I wasn't spoiled, but I mean, it's too late for that already. Anyway, I finished it before February, so that marks two books for January. It's a shitty start to the year, but better than nothing. <laughs>